Well, it was built in 2015 as Ragamuffin, and then uh, Sangwan bought the team, became Scallywag, and then we decided to really rebuild it again and had a proper budget and got a good sale program, and it's a completely different boat than it was a few years ago. Yeah, Rambler's probably the closest to us, and they're pretty, you know, we've only raced them once, and uh, in a Hobart race actually, and we had a match race to the finish and only beaten by a couple of minutes, so it'll be a good test to see how far we've gone with our development and how far they've gone, and we'll see. It looks a bit light, so I think it might favour us a little bit more than them, but anyway, who knows. Um, the IRC rule basically tries to make sure that a 100 footer can never win on handicap, right, which is actually a fair thing, because... Uh, you know, um, it keeps everybody, you wouldn't have 400 votes in the race if a 100 footer could win on handicap as well, right? So they make it very difficult. So we're actually the highest rating IRC vote in the world. Probably nine out of 10 races, I can tell you, before we even start, we are absolutely zero chance. Um, with this forecast, we're probably about a 50 50 because there's a high pressure ridge and our routing's got us sort of get, getting there, sort of getting through it, sort of not. So if we get through the high pressure ridge, what that'll be is it'll just basically slow up the rest of the fleet and give us a give us a seriously good chance to be able to win the double. But you know, it's a one in ten, right? Probably about 150 miles from the rock, somewhere there. So basically, if if we if we get around the rock and we're on our way back, reaching, which suits us, and the rest of the fleet are stuck on the other side of the ridge and doing two knots and three knots, then we're a chance. Then we'll be beaten by probably every every single boat in the race. So 300, and, was it 94 votes? So 393 votes will beat us here. Yeah. Um, but as I said in the press conference, you know, the, it's about line on us having 100 footer and trying to maybe break the race record, which doesn't look possible in this race, but that's all you buy them for. And uh, so also you've got you've got 100 footer on the start line with 394 other boats. How are you looking forward to that? Absolutely nightmare. Um, shitting bricks, <laughs> like I said. <laughs> Uh, the problem here is it's actually a staggered start and uh, it's probably better for us if it wasn't a staggered start. If they had 400 votes on the start line, at least a minute after sailing we'd be ahead of everyone. The way it's set up here, and I understand why, because of the tides and all that, but we end up having to sail through the entire fleet and probably looking at the forecast, we're all going to come together at the needle, so let me take a few fenders. Oh, all the normal scallywags, most of them went around the world with us or have been with us for a long time. So. You know, the, the Wonder Boy nippers on the bow, Sealy from the Volvo, Bessie's there, Jack McCartney's there from the Volvo, um, the best Filipino yachtsman on the planet, Ferdinand Galetta, he's there. So, um, you yeah, know, we're a pretty tight bunch of team members. We don't, we don't change too much.